you to uh, the next chapter, which is task domain representations. Now, the first thing that I would like to speak about is conceptual entities. So conceptual entities could be object, event, role, right? So these are conceptual entities. These are and, and, and I'm interested to find the relation to them as well. So first of all, for conceptual entities, you need to describe them, and, and I prefer a template, but I'm not telling you you should, but I'll just give you an example. Actually, hopefully, can you read this one? Can you read what I've written here? Right, okay. Can you read it? Maybe not. So, you're welcome to come and sit here, if you want. No thanks. Okay, it's up to you. Anyhow, I, I did this morning, I decided to uh, to open my tool for task modeling, which is Uter. I will give you the Uter URL for Uter. And I created some tasks. And I created a task and I labeled the task order espresso with sugar. And the task has a goal. My goal is to get a drink. And uh, I defined the task as being a unit task. I could also have said it's a complex task, but I defined this a unit task because this is how I live. I want an espresso with sugar. And in my coffee shop in Amsterdam, they know. If I enter, they know he wants an espresso with sugar. Right? And, and the task is mainly mental. I don't do too much. Actually, sometimes I just have to enter and they say, okay, I will give you your coffee. And it really happens, even at the railway station in Utrecht, when I enter the coffee shop, the lady puts my coffee there. And I just have to pay, right? So it's... Okay. Um, command to drink in the shop. And I have a customer card. Right? So, I, I'm just describing this task in this way. I could have already put a, a media support to, to give a picture. But this task is so simple that I didn't care to make a picture. But I couldn't describe a lot. I could also describe more things, but... So and, and so this is in my tool, YouTube. I made it this morning just for you to show that how easy it is to make. So this is another one. Now you can see here that the order espresso with sugar is the first one. I create a new task which is pay. And the task has a goal. Now finish business by of buying a drink. When I buy a drink, I finish business by paying, right? From my point of view, as a client. So okay, by the way, you, you never uh, modeled a client so far. The customer, I mean. You did, no, didn't model a customer so far. Uh, it's fine, or you could decide to do this. Because the customer is, is definitely somebody that, that is part of the game, right? So consider this one. Because I model this from my point of view, which is being uh, a customer, right? So the customer um, finishes by, by paying. Um, this task is a complex task, at least for me, because I, I'm not so sure what the price is, and I'm not so easy with, with Chinese money. So for me this means I give some money, I will get money back, right? So it, it definitely is a motor task, because I have to find the coins in my purse, or the, and I don't understand the bills, so I look at the numbers, I think, well, 20 would be enough maybe, so I give a 20, and then I find out whether they ask for more, or give me things back. So here it says... Um, I would prefer credit card, but maybe the shop doesn't accept. And so only cash payment allowed means that for me this task is a little bit more complex. Because I have to handle money that I don't really understand. I cannot read the bills apart from the number and I have not, no idea what, what the price of coffee would be. So, okay. Um, so I'm, I'm just filling in another task for you to show that you can write down all that could be relevant, right? Um, and, and here actually I, I made it a little bit more complex. You can see pay could be hand money and then receive <coughs> money back. So for me payment is complex because I hand money and I make sure I hand a, a, a not too small money so that I will get money back. Because if I hand small money I have to have more money and more money and I, I'm not able to, to speak so I wouldn't understand, right? So. Um, no, no um, get money back. So I, I'm, so receive money back. Pay just. The goal is to pay just the right amount, right? If it's if it's eight, what is the, the amount of money? I don't know. Eight yuan. Yeah. 
8 yuan? Okay, so if I have to pay 8 yuan I, 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 and I give 20, I, I would like to have. So it's a motor task because I have to receive the bills, look at it, put it somewhere. Um, yeah, okay, so I, you can see I'm, I'm modeling now also the task in a tree. You can see payment has subtasks like handing money and receiving money back. Okay, I'm just showing you how you can model this. Right? And, but you can do this on paper or, or whatever, but you could also use the tool, and the tool is available. Um, actually, but maybe it's more complex, so receive money back. Um, the start condition is money given is more than to pay, so I give more money. And the stop condition is the rest money is received. So to receive money back starts with this one and it ends when this is occurred, right? And I write down that it takes more or less 10 seconds, and, and the frequency sometimes when paying for coffee. Once I know I, and I have enough money bills, I could give the right amount, but sometimes I have to receive money back. Um, and and uh, I could actually also describe the used objects, or the performing agents, or the events, or the trigger task. So I could model a lot if I want to. This is all in the tool, but maybe you don't. So, but you can see just task analysis is there for you to design. So write down whatever you think is relevant and leave open what you think is not relevant. Now here I changed and I'm modeling an object and the object is a customer card. I now learn that the object actually is called the FIM card but I didn't know. And the object has attributes like number of stamps and the value of number of stamps is 1 to 10. You never get the customer card with zero stamps, I think. Right? And, and, and it cannot contain more than 10 stamps. So, um, uh, command, hand it out with stamp for the first order, and can be exchanged for a cookie when 10 stamps reached, or a kiss, or a cup of coffee, I'm not sure still. I want to know, right? But we'll find out. But I'm modeling what I know. This is my knowledge, right? At the end, when my card is full, I get something nice. Whatever it could be. Could be a cookie, I don't know. Or, or some, and, and I could, could put lots of other things, like rights, like, like I could say, well, who is, a, who is allowed to put stamps on? I'm not allowed to put stamps on, but the cashier is allowed, right? And, and, and so somebody could create, somebody could, whatever is relevant. And I actually could even put, a media support. So I actually made a picture of my card and I put the picture here. Right? So you can find my picture, the picture of this object because I think it's relevant. Everything you model, you can put a picture of it, right? So for the card, I put a picture um, which is gone. It should be here somewhere. Okay, well, whatever. Um, the, 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 so, anyhow. Um, here I'm, uh, I'm modeling um, a role, so you can see I now changed to modeling roles, and the role I, I model is shop employee, and when I entered shop employee, I found out that there are already several things that could be chosen, so I could choose what is part of the role, like hand money, like order espresso with sugar, now you know that order espresso with sugar is not something the shop employee should do, but the customer. Like paying. Paying is a task that could be done by the customer, but handing money certainly will be done by the shop employee in giving money back. So you see, this tool allows me to take the tasks and to add them to certain roles if relevant. Okay? And this is a clever system. It's in fact an agent, so the agent helps me to model. And it tells me you already modeled several tasks, but also other tasks could be done like new, which doesn't mean anything so far. But all the tasks known so far could be added to the responsibilities of the shop employee, or not. Yeah? So this is how you could model. And um, so um, uh, this is another example that Martijn van Wely uh, 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 did, so like play movies. So this is movies are only shown once in the afternoon and twice in the evening in the cinema. And uh, play movie. Uh, the, which is the goal is to perform the core business and the start condition is the projector should ready and the stop condition is the end of the movie and the initial state is no movie shown and the final state is a movie show 
and the duration of the movie is three hours and it's performed three times a day. So this is a completely different task, but you can see you can use the same type of modeling tool or modeling template, whatever you want. Okay? Um, and this is another one, like an event. Email has arrived. Maybe sometimes my machine tells me email has arrived. Now, if, if this is not a result of anything I did, this is an event, and, and it triggers a start reading email. And the email program pops us a window saying that new mail has arrived when, with the question if I want to read it or not. So this is description of an event. Right? And there might be events in the shop or not, but if there are, you could model them. 